moving in. I just hope this new kid has never heard of me. It's not often you get the opportunity to start over with a clean slate. This time, things will be different. Hi, everybody. Welcome to What the Flick. I'm Matt Achity. This is Alonzo Duraldi. That's Christy Lemire. Uh, they are going to talk about the Peanuts movie. I am not, because like Ben Mankiewicz, I can't be bothered to see the movie. <laughs> but you tried it. You, were, I did, you, were, you sat in front of me, and they started late, and you had to leave. So yes. It's not, I had cool shit to do. You not tried. Matt's fault. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So, 15 years after the end of the Peanuts comic strip, and 50 years after the uh, debut of A Charlie Brown Christmas on uh, CBS, uh, we get the Peanuts feature film. Uh, unlike the previous four features, uh, this one is in 3D and it's computer animated. And as a Peanuts fan, I went in thinking, that's not a good idea. And I came out kind of digging it. Take a look. This November. I'm going to change who I am and become a winner. Wow. Find the courage. If there's one person you want by your side at a moment like this, it's your loyal dog. No dog. Uh. To dream. If you really want to impress people, you need to show them you're a winner. All I do is win, 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 no matter what, what got money on my mind. Of course, when I say you, you know I don't mean you personally. Schroeder. I don't need to fight. Sally. Yeehaw! Linus. Hey, Charlie Brown. Peppermint Patty. Sir! Two, no, three! Big Ben. Lucy. You blockhead! Snoopy. <laughs> And Charlie Brown. The new kid is coming. She is pretty. She's not that pretty. <gasps> she looked at me. <gasps> From the imagination of Charles Schultz. <laughs> My naturally curly hair. Comes the incredible story. Ooh. Now there's a guy who's going places. Of an underdog and his dog. Snoopy, what would I do without a friend like you? I can't believe I'm about to talk to the new girl. <sighs> Hello? <sighs> the Peanuts movie. I wanted to love this. Okay. All right, I'm the target audience. As, I mean, as we all are age-wise, sure. but I also have a son who you, you may have heard me talk about. I'm my child before. Really? You, you have a kid? I have a child, and he's six, and he loves Peanuts, mm. you know? And so he'll just go pop in Charlie Brown Christmas into the DVD player. And, and so, in a, multiple levels, I'm the target audience for this. Um, it's fun at first, mm -hmm. and then it's just a repackaging and regurgitating of ideas and images and plot points and sometimes verbatim dialogue that sure. we have seen in various other incarnations of Peanuts. Mm -hmm. And everyone does the exact same thing that you expect they will in every single moment. It breathes no new life okay. into it. It's a okay. great hit collection. It I, patches together stuff you've I already gotta seen. Call, I gotta call a time on this I one. I wanted to love this. I'm bummed. The, <laughs> Peanuts was a comic strip for 50 years right. where they did the same thing over and over again. Right. If, they had, if they had behaved differently, you would be complaining that who are these characters? What have they done? Why is Charlie Brown now, you know, kicking the football? Why is Schroeder now playing Brahms? You I know, just, <laughs> of course they're going to do the same thing. It's what they do. I just want to point out that we are missing a huge opportunity by not doing this whole review, like. <laughs> and that's there too. The what was there too? And, no, and I appreciate that they didn't turn this into like snarky postmodern assault. Yeah, this isn't peanuts. Peanuts, No, you know? I appreciate that. I appreciate like the telephones still have cords and Schroeder but, still has his little toy piano. Yeah, nobody has a computer right. or a cell phone or video games. They they ice right. skate and play baseball. Right. There are know? no hashtags. There are no memes. And I appreciate. <laughs> appreciate that about it, but having said that, like there's also no innovation at all. They they took ex exact moments that you have seen before and just well, okay. did them in 3D animation and put them out there well, for you sure. again. Well, sure, but look, I, is I, different I, I, here. Think, I think that, again, the 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 thing about Peanuts is it sort of comforting regularity. And if you think of that as predictability, <laughs> fine. But we knew that every fall, Lucy was going to pull away the football. We knew that every Christmas, Linus was going to get dragooned into a pageant he didn't want to do. Every Valentine's Day, Charlie Brown was going to go home empty-handed. Like, I can't believe you're calling out Peanuts for being 
for repeating themselves when that's the whole no, point. That's, I know. Peanuts I, is a passion play. <laughs> it's supposed to be the same thing every no, year. I appreciate the faithfulness to detail. I do. This feels incredibly safe to me. Well, this feels like a real missed opportunity. I feel like it feels almost cynical. Like, let's just put out what everyone's oh, already God. seen and little kids who don't know this will like it. For example, all right, at one point, Peppermint Patty says to Charlie Brown, you're holding my hand, Chuck, you sly dog. Of course. Nick knew that was from Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Of course. They're repeating, they're, they're cannibalizing Lucy their own Lucy gets products. a kiss from Snoopy and asks for hot water and, and iodine. iodine. yes. Of course. <laughs> Here's I a disinfectant. What Where's the else, iodine? <laughs> what else did you expect, lady? This is what I, happens in peanuts. I would like to have had a, a slight bit of freshness. Okay, a slight you're bit insane. Of innovation. I'm not. Because, you uh, know, it's, it's sweet and it's gentle. It's a fine first movie. If your kids have never been to a movie, in the theater, this is fine. <laughs> yes, this is I think, safe. I think, I think for a G, if they have no experience in <laughs> cinematic art <laughs> ever before. No they don't know Here, this here's is. why I was worried about Peanuts because Peanuts, both in the comic strip and in the the earlier TV shows and and the especially the first two movies, Boy Named Charlie Brown and Soupy Come Home, are built on sadness mm -hmm. and failure and disappointment and melancholy and anxiety, and I thought. Are they going to do that nope. in a modern? They do, they, though. Mm, yeah, they do. No. They, yes. Charlie, Charlie, throughout, Charlie Brown talks about his anxieties and his insecurities and how he's not good enough and how things come out wrong and he gets depressed. He goes to Lucy for psychiatric <laughs> help for five cents. Right. <laughs> Of I mean, the five movies we're talking about today, this is the one that you were the most passionate about. Because, because I'm amazed <laughs> yes. that, 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 that this is your, what you're calling out. I was like saying, I can't believe Charlie Brown was bald. Well, <laughs> What did you think? There is there is zero narrative drive. This is a of series course. of vignettes with like a through line of the Red Baron and Snoopy as the World War One flying ace. Did, have and you that's watched it. Have you watched Race for Your Life, Charlie I've Brown seen lately? Everything. There's a raft I've race. Seen that's all the of them. plot. I mean <laughs> Wow. I expected more from a big screen. 3D animated. You have like all this machinery in place to do something I, I, cool. I think that too. And it's safe. I, but yes, because I think <laughs> because this stuff is set in stone at this point. It's not like adapting Shakespeare where you can decide I'm going to do an all furniture Hamlet right. or something. <laughs> you do peanuts, and you there are there are very sharp lines you have to stay inside. And I think that had they not. <laughs> You and other people would be saying, what the fuck is this? How dare they mess with peanuts? I want all furniture peanuts. It's just, <laughs> just Snoopy's doghouse. See, I'm already thinking the all furniture Hamlet, so what, he's prince of the Ottoman Empire? Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a mystery science theater joke, by the way. I, I can't claim credit oh. for that. Even my kid knew this was like gentle and safe and okay. He yeah, didn't love it. It is, it is exactly what you would expect from a Peanuts movie, for better or for, for worse. For better or for worse, every single uh, time. But I think yeah. they were, I, 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 was, I, I was worried about them not getting the tone right, and I was worried about, I, you know, I, I've done some research, and when, you, when Schultz talked about why Bill Melendez directed all the specials and the commercials and the movies and everything, the word flat comes up a lot. Yeah, you know, this is 3D. He, <laughs> he wanted it flat, he wanted it to look like the, the sort of simple line drawings of the strip, and I thought, ugh, 3D, ugh, you know. I think they pull it off. I think it's it is it is true to the sort of simplicity of how Schultz drew these characters and drew their world. And yeah, you notice that Snoopy has a fuzzy face and you can see the <laughs> individual hairs in Frida's curly <laughs> hair. But after a while you get used to that and it just for me it became just a peanuts thing. And yeah, of course it repeats itself because that's what peanuts has always done. <laughs> But I think, but but I I felt like they didn't make it too shiny and too happy. Yeah. It was it felt true to me. So uh, it is I, true. It's true to the color palette. It's true to yeah. like you know the aesthetic touches that you come to expect. And yeah. I, I think and, and you're right. I think for a lot of kids, there this is going to be their gateway drug to the rest of it. But you know the strip has been gone for 15 years. So your kid and and, and countless other kids at this point really just know these characters mm -hmm. as three holiday specials a year. Yeah, and and there's stuff. There's still like and the merchandise, merchandise. <laughs> and the MetLife I mean, commercials. Yeah, <laughs> and, and we went to the premiere on Sunday. The Snoopy blimp was hovering over yes, the premiere. Yes, it was yes. there. Um, uh, yeah, it's I, it's fine. <laughs> it could have been great, and I I'm bummed. Maybe I had expectations that were unrealistic for Perhaps. greatness from the Snoopy movie. I think it's I think <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Uh, I would recommend though, like if you take your kids to see it and they dig it. Go back and get those Fanographics books has been putting out the complete Peanuts. It's Aww. a 25-volume set that finishes 
in the spring of all 50 years of the Schultz strip. That's cool. Go back and read the strip. It's genius. It is great American 20th century art. Go back and watch Snoopy come home and cry. Yes. Oh my God, it's the saddest. So sad. <laughs> Snoopy. Oh, don't start. I'm not even going to sing the song. We're all going to cry. No all right. dogs allowed. Oh, right. Nothing <laughs> approaching that kind of depth exists here. Okay, so <laughs> what's your number? I give, it a seven, I give it a seven and a half. I think it's perfectly <laughs> fine. It's not. It does not desecrate the grave of Charles Schultz. Yeah. It will yeah, it will not ruin your childhood or your own child's childhood. Right. It's harmless, but it could have been great. I give it a 5.7. So, our average is a 6.6. .6. And it's in the 80s on the tomato meter right now. Yes, but it's dropping. You're nice. <laughs> <laughs> mean Tim Grierson making it drop. Oh. Okay, bye. Take care. Bye. <laughs>